We're going to add collision to a multi-object shield. This shield has three objects as part of the shield and each object is in its own layer. We're going to select all of these objects and duplicate them and put them into its own layer which is layer 4. First we're going to select all then we're going to use the move or duplicate. You can move around, move the mouse around to see the duplicate that it worked and press escape. Then we're going to take that object and move it to layer number four, which is unused. Then we're going to highlight just layer four. We're going to select the object, press A, select it until everything's selected. And then we're going to join all of these objects into a single object. Once we do that, we can go into edit mode and then select all the vertices. Once we do that, we can then use the whole script that's located underneath the mesh menu. I'll angle this so that you can see it when, it, uh, when the script works. Go to scripts, hull, then we're going to select the convex shape. We're going to leave the default precision of 0 0.1. Click OK. It's going to think about it and adjust added it. Now we're going to get out of edit mode and go back into object mode. Select it. Let's go ahead and get rid of the object that we created that was purely for temporary purpose. So we're going to delete this duplicated object that we joined together. And the only thing that's going to be left is our collision in this layer. So we notice that it says uh, convex poly. That's fine. When you look at this tab we see that we got bound set. In our logic tab we're going to set the actor, dynamic, and rigid body. We're going to set the mass to say 25 pounds for example for this this thing I can see it weighing 25 pounds. Then we're going to set our uh, radius value try to get the right size. Oh looks like it's a little bit off center so we're going to put our 3D cursor try to line it up to the center of this mass. Once it's there we're going to go back to our edit panel and then say center on cursor then I'll put the center of the object to the cursor. Let's go back here and adjust our radius again. It looks just fine there. We'll click the bounds button. It already selects convex poly. We're going to add property, change float to string. Then we're going to change prop to havoc material. We're going to tab over and type in the material we want. This example is going to be metal. It's going to be have HAV underscore MAT underscore METAL. It could be glass, could be wood, depends on what type you have. Now we're going to look at all the layers so we can see everything. We're going to deselect it all and we're going to select all. Now we're going to export this to NIF format. And on the export screen here, well, before we get there, let's give it a name. We're going to say work in progress. And click the export button. And here, make sure you, your oblivion is selected. Turn off the skin because this isn't a skin object. Leave these on. They're just fine. Set this to a weapon type. It's already set to metal. 25 already. Leave it as a solid. Don't use the block list shape because we're only using one collision object. Click the OK button, let it compile the NIF, then open the NIF file in NIF scope. Now let's take a look at uh, what we have in this scope here. Expand all these properties just to make sure our textures are all good. Okay, now we see that our uh, collision object does retain the metal property that we set. And it picked that radius. And it's OL weapon, OL weapon, 
correct in both spots. We have a BSS flag, so it's all looks good. I think we've got our collision. Let's pull it in game, see if it works.